South Australia, known for our wine regions, the Barossa, McLaren Vale, the Adelaide Hills. With so many wineries a stone throw away, how are you meant to know which is the right wine for you? Well, it's simple. In poor taste. Wine, 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 wine tasting. Five wines, two comedians and a wine expert. Be guided through your wine journey by Sweeney Preston, Ethan Kavanagh and wine expert Henry Doyle. Go from average wine drinking a total knob. Understanding terms like earthy and racking. Join now by wine expert Henry Doyle. Henry, thank you for coming on the show this morning. How are you, mate? So good, fellas. Oh my God, what an intro. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, I feel like after that intro, you've just morphed into wearing a Metallica t-shirt. Is that what you're going to wear to this show that's coming up? Oh man, I didn't realise I was going to do so much headbanging during the show, but I'm going to have to now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Henry, can you tell us all about this show? How does it work and what's going to happen if people come along? Yeah, for sure. So uh, as you said, it's called Import Taste. It's the comedy wine tasting experience. We're set up in Gluttony in the Bank SA tent, which is insane because it's such a nice venue. We rolled in and we're like this can't be for us this is far too nice um but everyone who turns up everyone who turns up you're going to get five wine tastings so i'll talk to you about the wines and everything you need to know about them and it's a nice mix of not super nerdy wine stuff but also things that you might be able to whip out at your next dinner party and just impress a couple of people and then while i'm doing that the comedians basically take the piss out of me and everyone else in the room and make some jokes about wine it's a good time Hey, great. Henry, speaking of the wine that you get to drink, what's the variety like? Do you get a bit of red, bit of white, bit of sparkling? How does that work? Yeah, so we start out down in like the white space, a little Pinot Grigio just to start us off. Uh, a lot of the wines are from Alpha Box and Dice, the local yep, Adelaide yep. Hills winery. who do some really good stuff up there. And then we work our way from white to rosé, and then we finish up on a red as well. So you do get a nice little spectrum. No bubbles, though, unfortunately. So uh, anyone who's just coming along for champagne, it's probably not the show for you, but there's <laughs> plenty of other wines to try. <laughs> hey, Henry, speaking of uh, who it's the right show for, what, what kind of person would get a kick out of this show? Who, who would you say should come along? Well, it's really interesting because we've had a really wide array of people come through so far because we had a four o'clock show on Sunday and we had a slightly older crowd, like sort of my parents' age, around 60 odd. Yeah. But then we've also had young people come through sort of, you know, 20, 25. So we get a really big range of ages coming through and there's sort of naughty jokes that the young people like and then there's sensible jokes that the old people like. So there's a nice mix of it. We've had a real wide range of people coming through so far. Yeah, amazing. I mean, i got to say, it sounds incredible, bang for your buck. A ticket is $49, but that includes five glasses of wine plus an hour and a half of comedy to go with it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, usually I go to a comedy show and I buy the tickets for 30 bucks, and then I spend 50 bucks on drinks. So it's a nice little two-for-one special. It's a good way of branding it, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Henry, speaking of the comedians you just mentioned, Sydney, uh, uh, Sweeney Preston and Ethan Kavana, they're not wine experts. Does that mean they're just doing their usual routine or...? No, nah, it's all wine-based stuff. I'm not going to lie. If Sydney Sweeney was there, we wouldn't be worrying about selling tickets. Uh, so <laughs> Ethan and Sweeney are there. <laughs> Ethan and Sweeney are there. And they've been doing the show. Uh, we started doing it about two or three years ago. Um, but they tour it around the country, go to all the different wine regions, Adelaide obviously being a big one of them. So they picked up a couple of little stories about drinking wine along their way. So it's comedy, but it is loosely associated with wine as well. Yeah, Henry, coming up, just before we wrap things up, we do want to do a bit of a wine quiz with you, test your wine knowledge, see how much of an expert you really are. But before we do, we, we, we'd, like to know, we'd love to know, where does your wine knowledge actually come from? What, what got you interested in this part of life? Well, I was sort of just kicking around hospo, much like yourself, Tom, yeah. uh, working in bars and things like that. And then I got a glassy shift one day up at a local winery in the hills, uh, Unico Zello. And I've been there for the last three years and sort of done everything from cleaning people's glasses to giving out tastings in the cellar door, getting out in the vineyards and picking grapes. And now these days I'm on the road talking to people about wine and trying to get them to buy it. So it's basically industry experience. It's been really fun. And now I'm a bit of a wine wanker, unfortunately. <laughs> do you, Henry, do you go for the swell? Do you sniff? Are you one of those guys now? Oh, mate, you've got to do the swell and sniff. What are you talking about? It's a prerequisite. Yeah, Henry, we'd Absolutely. love to... We'd love to get into the game. Uh, like Tom said, let's do the quiz to see if you really are the wine expert, you say? Yeah, well, it could all come crashing down now, couldn't it? So hopefully <laughs> I know a couple of these answers. Don't worry, we can always edit this out. <laughs> yeah, good, 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 good.
<laughs> All right, the first question, Henry, and, you know, this one's probably more trivia than anything to do with wine, but what is okay. the most expensive bottle of wine ever sold? We, we, we'll take it in a... We'll take, we'll take loose answers for this one, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Are we looking for the price or the specific wine? Uh, the price. Beautiful. I reckon... Oh, man. I reckon we're talking maybe... $200,000, Tom. Oh, Jeez. That was a bit low. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Just r- rub it in his face, man. <laughs> Thanks. I'll have two no's. Thanks. 558000 was the uh, answer yeah, there. Look, uh, to be fair, mate, I work in the industry, so I could get it at wholesale price. So, yeah, retail oh, yeah. would have been about 5 dollars You're just saying yeah, about it. Yeah, we'll change that. We'll change that. Yeah. yeah uh, that, it, that one's Sorry. on us. <laughs> Henry, bit of a true or false one. Is there a winery in every state of America? Is that true or false? There are a winery in every state of America. Oh, I don't know if Alaska would have a winery. I'm going to go false. True. It is actually true. They've got wine in Alaska. They've got wine everywhere there, mate. (laughs) That's incredible. Oh, my God. Cold vintage Riesling's coming out of Alaska. I'm going to try one. All right, and finally, Henry, final question here, and I really hope you can get this one correct, or at least we'll, we'll even take the, uh, the region. What is Hugh Jackman's favourite wine? Oh, I've actually read about this. Hugh Jackman's favourite wine. I've got a weird feeling that it's the Sauvignon Blanc. I thought I read that in an article somewhere. Um, so I'll go Sav Blanc, but I'll also say it's from South Australia. Okay. Do you want to narrow it down to a specific region, or are you going to just keep the South Australia? Nah, keep the ball rolling. Let's oh, uh, let's go want, specific. You want a specific region? Yeah, mm-hmm. go on. Okay, Hugh Jackman. He likes a bit down in SA. Where does he spend his time? I don't reckon he's a Barossa boy. I don't reckon he likes that. I reckon, lock it in, Hugh Jackman loves wines from McLaren Vale. McLaren Vale. Oh, it's Barossa. Oh, it's it's South Australian Barossa, Barossa Shiraz is his favourite wine. <laughs> Man, oh man, I, I promise to all the listeners, I am actually an expert. It's just that I haven't done as much research on Hugh Jackman and how much he loves to add. <laughs> oh, I would say that's pretty abstract knowledge for a wine expert to have, you know. <laughs> hey man, it's an important thing to know. Everything's about getting better each day. So that'll be in the notes for the next show. Hugh Jackman, big fan of SA Wines. Henry, thank you so much for coming on this morning. You can go check out his show, In Poor Taste, a comedy wine tasting experience at Gluttony in the Banker Say Theatre, running all the way to the 17th of March. Tickets are $49. You can get yours at adelaidefringe.com.au. Mate, you've been a pleasure as always. Cheers. Thanks for having us on, boys. Have a good day. Cheers.